Greetings, warriors and wanderers of the digital realm. Today, we embark on a journey to the heart of feudal Japan with Rise of the Ronin, Team Ninja's latest venture. But the question on everyone's mind, will this game finally balance the scales of superb combat and flawed balancing that have long shadowed Team Ninja's titles? Let's unsheathe our katanas and find out. At first glance, Rise of the Ronin dazzles with its brilliant combat, crisp traversal, and an immersive gameplay loop that promises to redefine our expectations. Team Ninja, the master of combat mechanics, seems to have poured its heart into crafting a game that transcends their previous works. For years, Team Ninja has been synonymous with top-tier combat systems, from the punishing blows of Ninja Gaiden to the stance-based intricacies of Nia. Yet, alongside the acclaim, a narrative of compromise in other departments has persisted. Does Rise of the Ronin herald a new era for Team Ninja? I'm cautiously optimistic. The game's combat system, possibly inspired by Neo, offers a stance-based, parry-heavy approach that feels both familiar and fresh. But it's not just the combat that's turning heads. The world design and traversal mechanics, featuring a mix of grappling hooks and gliders, promise a freedom previously unseen in Team Ninja's portfolio. Now, let's talk visuals. Yes, they might not break new ground for a 2024 release, but if there's one thing I've learned, it's that graphics do not a masterpiece make. It's the gameplay, the immersion, that truly defines a game's worth, and Rise of the Ronin seems poised to deliver just that. Reflecting on Team Ninja's journey, from the highs of Ninja Gaiden to the divisive Wo Long, it's clear that combat was never the issue. The challenge has always lain in balancing complex mechanics with engaging level design and player accessibility. Rise of the Ronin appears to be their most ambitious attempt yet to strike that perfect harmony. But as we stand on the brink of Rise of the Ronin's release, alongside titans like Dragon's Dogma 2, it's a critical moment for Team Ninja. Can they step out from the shadows of their past and their competitors to deliver a game that stands tall on its own merits? My heart says yes, but only time will tell. So, what do you think? Will Rise of the Ronin carve its name into the annals of gaming history, or will it be another what could have been for Team Ninja? Share your thoughts, expectations, and samurai dreams in the comments below. And if you're as excited as I am to step into this sprawling world, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming deep dives. Personal Opinion Rise of the Ronin represents a pivotal moment for Team Ninja, a chance to redefine their legacy and prove that they can craft a game that's as balanced as it is beautiful. Their commitment to refining combat mechanics while addressing past criticisms shows a developer that's not only listening but evolving. I'm hopeful that Rise of the Ronin will deliver a holistic experience that marries Team Ninja's unparalleled combat design with a world and story that captivate and engage. As a fan of their work and a lover of action RPGs, I'm rooting for Rise of the Ronin to be the game that elevates Team Ninja to new heights, proving once and for all that they can create a world as compelling as their combat. Until next time, keep your blade sharp and your spirit unyielded.